hey hey everybody overseas madman here coming at you guys with another video um so for today i was looking in my discord and i noticed a bunch of people um you know mainly jetta and this Mikchut, i guess i don't know how to say your name i'm sorry i apologize that um they wanted me to look into something called Waxel, and it is something that I did look at into the past because of Jetta and a couple other people in my Discord were talking about it previously. Um, you know, it's been four days since they had said something about it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dive a little bit in and take a peek at, like, you know, maybe their roadmap, check out the, the gameplay, and maybe just go through a little bit of the different things that they have going on for their project. Um, so I think we should start with the roadmap. I kind of feel like that's the important one. So these are the things that they've already completed it. I don't understand their, their marking system. Um, I think this means like fully completed. So they've completed the avatars, which we can open those up in a second. They have the collectibles, uh, which is like the ninjas. It looks like every Waxel ninja from this collection will be fully integrated into the world as, and the function and the core for it, everything like that. Um, let's see. Waxel ninjas will stay in the focus and pretty much act like land plots known from other NFT games. Uh, that's kind of interesting that a character would be recognized as a land plot, but maybe in the future the functionality will change according to their wordsmith here. Um, quarter four until 2022, quarter one until the end of quarter one, of course. Um, release the play to earn game of Waxel World. The vision behind Waxel World is to create NFTs that populate the world by starting with Waxel Ninja Continent. So the continent and the Wax Ninjas, it looks like Ninja is the continent for the moment. Like maybe it's like, you know, the first phase um, of their project and holding the Waxel Ninjas looks like that's going to be like a land plot for you within this land they have. Uh, I'm not really too sure. Um, let's just read on a little bit more. Uh, I'm just now reading about this project. Um, in its entirety for the first time i've heard about it before i looked at like the artwork and whatnot and i didn't really dive too deep into the project um you know i had a bunch of other stuff going on um let's see imagine the waxel ninja continent in which new resources were gathered such as ore crop wood fish and more in order to create new items such as tools weapons armor and buildings uh, we want to create a complete ecosystem where every asset created has a purpose and is more than just a collectible. Um, so it looks like it's going a l just briefly, just very briefly off the same style as Farmer's World, but just that one mechanic of, you know, exploiting resources, not the entire thing. Obviously, they have a lot more things going on. It looks like, you know, in quarter two of this year. They're going to have leaderboards, the referral system, the professions, um, food and energy system, housing system, their heroes, which are in-game characters with different outfits, armor, weapons, with whom you will be able to run around in your settlement, uh, missions, dungeons, companions and pets, more continents, lore, Waxel towns, um, creation of our own Waxel token, lending system, and staking system. The lending system sounds pretty interesting. It sounds like maybe you'll be able to get these things from them for... Um, like maybe you're renting them from them or like you they lend them to you and then you contribute a portion of your resources which would be pretty good honestly if they lend it to you and like maybe you can lease it to the point where you can own it or maybe it's just like permanently they're taking a percent out and putting it back into liquidity or maybe they're making money from it i don't really know too much about that but you know it looks like a pretty decent project honestly um there are a lot of projects that have been coming out lately i don't know how good a lot of them are you know there's a lot of different things that's been going on um a lot of very crazy things you know people can create some very weird um collections and projects and then never do anything with it um we've seen that before especially on the non-whitelisted projects a lot of people that i know go and check those out and they get rugged all of the time um Okay, so the Waxel Ninja avatars, like the land plot things, the 250 avatars were their very first drop on the 26th of June. It took place on Nefty Blocks. At the time of the sell, we've been a pretty small community with just a couple of members in Discord. And to our own surprise, all the avatars have been bought within a couple hours. Because of that, they only you will only get your hands on a few of those through the secondary market if they are going, um, if they are for sell. Uh, we'll go check that out in just a second. The Waxel Ninja Avatar NFT will forever be our number one and holders of it. 
will have special benefits here and there along the way of this project. Every avatar is a 1-1 unique based on traits that are described further down below. So the trait details, we'll get into that in a second. The utility behind Waxel, um, a whitelist place on all big upcoming cells. So it looks like you're going to get whitelisting depending on you know the NFTs you're holding for their collection. Airdrops here and there. So it looks like you're going to be getting airdrops. <laughs> um, for example, in the past, every holder got the Waxel logo, the Ninja's Halloween pack, and the Santa NFT. The Discord role of Waxel Ninja Clan will be signed to a members that use their Waxel Ninja avatar as their profile picture. Members with that role get access to a private Discord channel with special insights and news, special unpredictable things, which just means they're not completely sure what they're going to give you or maybe take away in the future. I don't think they'll take away, but they're not really too sure on what the full utility is going to be maybe more is to come in order to be eligible you need to hold at least one nft from the waxel avatar schema um so that's right here we'll go open up that schema as all avatars are already sold out you can only get these from maybe a contest or like a giveaway or by buying them on the secondary market and so these are these waxels um maybe we can open up a couple of them uh, I'm going to go over to view on market and, you know, let's take a peek at what the price of these things are going for. Um, it looks like they're going for a pretty decent amount. We'll go to price lowest and we'll sort it by wax on ninjas because I'm sure the stickers and whatnot are going to be cheap as heck. Um, it looks like you can get some of these things for around $16, which is really not too bad. I think that's pretty cheap. Um, a pretty cheap investment with pretty minimal risk you know you're not you don't really have to worry about losing you know 16 to 30 dollars it might be a lot for some people and i understand you know that you, it's hard to take risks sometimes but i think something like this isn't that big of a deal to take a risk on you know you drop maybe 15 20 dollars um, maybe you could buy a pack and you know open one of them you never know what you're going to get those are about 26 dollars at the floor which seems to be a lot cheaper than the rest on the market um I don't have the current wax in my wallet right now because I've been, you know, taking my money back out. Um, these games do feed me. They do pay my bills. Um, this is pretty much my main source of income is all the different things that I do on the blockchains. Um, you know, a majority of it does come from Farmer's World, which, you know, has had like a, a major decline, which, you know, it, it hurts me a little bit, but I'm still OK. Um, you know, I'm not doing bad or anything like that. Uh, but it is a little bit worrisome sometimes when it comes to these projects, you know, you really, really, really got to keep an eye on some of these things. Um, just like void light, like I had a good eye on this one, but I really needed to pay some stuff. Um, you know, I had to pay for a lot of different things. <laughs> I had some stuff I had to pay for, you know, it, it's life, uh, bills, food, you know, everything that you can think of. Um, but they've had a crazy amount of volume go through their, co um, collection and they haven't really been out that long. Um, they were created a few months back, yes, but I don't think that much stuff has moved around until recently. It looks like a lot of this volume has been occurring within the last, um, day, you know, like it spiked up really hard and I really did want to buy some of these. Like I said, um, I was actually talking with one of my buddies, Felix, uh, on discord about this specific project. He was asking me what are the projects, you know, I found and, um, uh, what I think about them. So, you know, this is one that I did look into a little bit. I didn't read the white paper or anything like that, but like I just kind of checked out a little bit of their influence ability and like a couple of their assets and like, you know, a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit. And I thought maybe it would be a good one to buy and then dump. Um, I hate to say it like that, but that's just the way it is, right? Like if I got into a project and everything like a thousand X the first couple of days, I'm selling it. Like if I'll, I'll be honest too, like if all of a sudden farmer's world had like a, you know, two or 300 X pump out of nowhere, I'd sell all of my shit. Like I don't even feel bad to say it like that because it would be such a huge return. And yes, I understand that there's a potential that the project could go even more like 400, 500, 600 X, but you know, a hundred X, 200 X is fine for me. I'm not a greedy person. And if you hold it too long, it might crater um that we've seen that happen with many different things a lot of people are scared about that uh let's get back onto waxel really quickly here uh trait details attributes um it looks like the trait attributes are here classified below i don't know why they kind of like have like a little bit of redundant information uh okay so race eyes headband accessory and suit 
The races can be human, orc, undead, elf, or demon. It doesn't... I don't know if it's really portrayed very clearly on the NFTs. Maybe we'll go back and take a peek um, at the avatars. It doesn't look like they clarify it very clearly in the picture about what exactly your waxel is going to be. Um, you know, it doesn't really look... Um, <clears throat> let me see. Let me just go open the market really quickly here and let's go back and look at those ninjas. And let's take a peek at them. Because I don't think the race is very easily determined by some of them. It does look like some of them's color is green. Maybe they got some horns and yeah, you know what it does. It does. It has a pretty good depiction. Um, it looks like humans are the top one. Um, they have like a headband, the eyes, accessories. All these different things will grant you different abilities it looks like. Um, there's some very rare ones like the demon race with an Ani mask would be super, super rare. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty interesting to see. Uh, I really hope that this project does good. Just like all the other projects, I really want these projects to do good because a lot of people do invest a lot of money into some of these things. Um, this one looks like it's going to be a very expansive game. It does look a little pixely, which is completely fine. The mechanics are what, you know, really mean the most. And if, you know, if the gameplay is good, a lot of people will be into it. Like, I love this style of NFT art. I really, really like the retro style. Um, I think pixel art is super interesting. And, you know, <laughs> I grew up with that stuff. And, you know, it's it's something I've always enjoyed was pixel art. Like, I played on the NES, the SNES. I played all of them. Um, I even played an Atari. <laughs> so, like, I like this kind of thing. It brings me back. You know, it's a little nostalgic. Um, I've talked to you guys about that before. Like sometimes I get a little nostalgic about certain things and I want to get into it. I kind of wish I would have done that with Bomber Crypto or Bomb Crypto. I should say not Bomber Crypto. I do that all the time. But Bomb Crypto, um, when it came out and then it pumped all the way up to like eight bucks, I would have been super stoked about that. Um, but right now, Bomb Crypto did have a pretty decent return. Not the best, but it's had like a 200% increase. Um, and now it looks like it's had a retraction, actually. Uh, let's see. Last night, it, yeah, it looks like last night it went up to like 68 cents, but now it's already back down to like 40. So I don't really know what the hell is going on with this project. It's kind of all over the board. Like if you look at it on the seven day span, it dumped really, really hard. And then it kind of like restabilized a little bit higher. It broke through a little bit. But if you look at it on the one month, it's not looking very good. Three month, it's not looking good at all. And the one year, it looks the same as every single other project. They all share the same pump and dump style of thing going on. And it's just, you know, constantly declining. It's it's probably going to be a dying project, or at least it's going to, you know, have a lot of the rewards decreasing. Um, it doesn't really, I don't know, it's not a very profitable project to get into. Uh, if you had thousands of bombers and maybe like a lot of accounts, maybe it would be pretty good. But like for me personally, I'm not going to be dumping any more money into their game at all. Uh, I'm not interested in their project anymore. Honestly, I'm not. Um, it's kind of like crypto cars. I'm not really interested that much in the Binance Smart Chain. Um, I was a little bit interested in the Dow Farmer. I still am. Dow Farmer is already released. Uh, it looks like they're doing pretty decent. I'm happy for that. Um, I'm still waiting for my one buddy to get a hold of me and he'll transfer me his axe and I'll start mining on that game as well. Um, a couple other things to note. Um, what is going on with the tokens right now? Uh, let's just look at the Alcor exchange in general. We'll keep this video focused about like in the beginning, mostly Waxel, but we're also going to talk about some other things that have been going on. Let's see. Let's see. So it looks like wood is down a little bit more. Uh, it says it's up in the last 24 hours, but yesterday it was 0 0.03, and now it's 0 0.277, unless these numbers are wrong, which for some reason Alcor likes to do that. Even on the buy and sell orders, sometimes they're broken on here. Um, like, I'll see one that is ridiculously lower than what the rest are. It's like it's stuck, like the element is stuck on the page, and it's not updating. I don't know why that is, but it does happen. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video a little bit short. Uh, I have a few things that I need to get done. It's already getting close to 5 p.m. The girlfriend will be home soon, and I kind of need to do some, some chores. Some dishes. 
<laughs> but no, you gotta keep people happy. Uh, you gotta gotta you know plant the roses a little bit sometimes right uh but anyways ladies and gentlemen i love every single one of you i just figured i'd throw this video out there to talk about waxel a little bit maybe bring him a little bit of spotlight because i mostly do um you know <laughs> indulge in the wax projects i'm not really into the other chains that much the binance smart chain is it's kind of on the fence for me, especially after the stuff that happened with CryptoCar. And it's not the chain's fault. It's the project. Um, but still, you know, it leaves a little bit of a bad taste in your mouth. Um, same with with Wax with a lot of other people. I'm sure that not too happy with the chain because of what happened with Farmer's World and a lot of other projects as well. Not just Farmer's World. Um, but yeah, everyone, <laughs> again and again and again, I love every single one of you. Thank you so much for always being here for me. Um, I'll try to always be there for you. Um, you know, if you guys have sent me some messages and I haven't replied to them. I do apologize for that. Sometimes I have the sound muted um, and I don't get notifications pushed. Sometimes I don't have the sound muted and I get way too many notifications pushed. Some things get you know piled down a little far. Um, just mention me in my Discord. Just send me some mentions and we'll go from there. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I love every single one of you for the third time. <laughs> I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.